a point of peace today against a very, very decent Wrexham side. Overall, we must be pleased. Yeah, I mean, Wrexham are fourth in the table. I know they lost their manager yesterday, but they're a good, experienced side. I think they haven't lost since December the 14th, so it shows sort of how close we came today. But if I'm honest, we should be sitting here talking about the win after an absolute blatant penalty, um, which three of their players came up to me after the game, including the number five who made the tackle in, and said that it was a penalty. So the fact that we're standing here, um, Reese is through on goal, one on one. Um, I don't know why he would fall over unless there was contact, and I thought it was an absolute disgraceful decision. Absolutely disgraceful. The linesman's on that side, the referee close enough to give it. I just I can't believe it's not coming. Obviously, after the game, he went marching onto the pitch and had words with the referee and his team. What, what did they say? Oh, yeah, I'm looking what happens on, on the pitch and what we talk about stays on the pitch, but I just a couple of them not sitting here talking about the win and, and the, we've got the penalty that I think we deserve. And we should be, yeah, talking about the, the win. I mean, how that wasn't a penalty. It, when three of their players come up to you and say it's a penalty, it's, it's just embarrassing. So it's an embarrassing decision from uh, a, a poor decision, I'm sure. Doesn't mean to be giving those ones, but absolutely got it wrong today and cost us two points. And now the game itself, we obviously took the lead and looked like perhaps we were going to be able to hang on to the lead and then mm. sort of gave the ball away in a bad area and then got mm. punished. So that must be frustrating. Yeah, we did. I thought two, the both goals were really sloppy from us. And although we're talking about the referee, which should have been penalty and should have been free, so we did make two bad mistakes for the goals. I think they're a really good interception. From the first one that we gave away, we really did well, but then we didn't clear our lines properly. We played in the middle of the pitch rather than down the side. Basic errors, all gets in the box, don't clear it well enough. Results in the goal where I thought, I think you're right, we didn't keep the ball well enough after we scored and we wanted to get on the attack and get at them, but we didn't do that. But I think character wise in the second half, 2 1 down, um, been against us lately and, and showed good character to get back in at 2 2 and, like we said, should have been 3 2 at the end. And actually, it was quite a difficult second half because Wrexham had an awful lot of the ball and mm. you weren't really able to get a foot in or win mm. the ball or, or build a tap. So that must be frustrating as well. Yeah, it was. I mean, like I said, they were a good side. They were a very, very good team and they're up there for a reason. Um, and I thought the second half was very hard with the winning as well. The winning was sort of, unless you're out there, it was hard to underestimate how hard it was. And for us to defend in that wind, I thought the wind was worth a goal in, in the first half. And coming in at 1-1, I thought well, we've, we've been able to defend well against that win. In general, we did. But like you said, we need to keep the ball better. I think we can definitely create more chances. But I think before the game, you'd maybe be happy with a draw, maybe. But a bit disappointed to be sitting here that we didn't win. And Nathan Baxter was voted the man of the match. So then he pulled off some outstanding saves, didn't he? He did. And I especially think one real key one, I think it was at 2-1. Um, and I'm pretty sure it was 2-1. That was a really good save. I think it was a one-on-one. And obviously, if they'd scored that, the game would have been over. That kept us in the game and allowed us to get that second goal. So he's done that for us a lot in the season. And it's funny because in the last game, I think he only had one save to make. The game before that, it's something only had one save. Today, he had a lot more saves to make. But we had a better performance and a better result. And just when it looked, though, perhaps it was going to be Wrexham's day, because we got that all important equaliser. And, and that sort of came about because there was another magnificent strike from Gregor Cox that hit the underside of the bar and mm. came out. And then from the resulting corner, it was a towering header from Joe Jones. Yeah, it was. I thought we looked a threat from set play today. The delivery was good. Um, Nathan Ralph was delivering well from that side with the in-swingers. And yeah, I couldn't believe that shot didn't go in from Reese Gregor Cox. So the fact that he, he was positive and we wanted to get more shots in in the game and, and be positive in there and, and test the people more resulted in that goal and we said that to him after. And it was kind of sort of seesaw end for the game because, you know, leaving aside the controversial penalty incident, I think Scott Bowden for them had a glorious opportunity mm. in the last minute where, you know, he side yeah. it over from the IPR. Yeah. And that would have been a real injustice, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would have been, but we should have been 3 2 up before he had that chance. So from the penalty, it just was magically not given. So, yeah, we, I was glad to see that go over the crossbar. Um, but I thought, look, we, the play showed fight, showed endeavour, showed resilience, and proved a few people today, I think, what we're about. And next up, away game to Lake Norrien, who've had a bit of a mixed season. Yeah, they have, but they're a huge club, aren't they? They, I'm sure, expected to be up there at the start of the season with a big budget and a lot of fans, and we're looking forward to going there. Um, we know our away form hasn't been great so far this season, so we need to go and put a plan together and, and try and get something from that game. But yeah, I think today will give us confidence to go and do that. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.